Okay, so now I want to do is talk about industry structure and kind of put together some of the numbers that I talk about with the actual structures, the industry structures that we see. So I have three levels here, CR4, HHI, and the name that I'll give to each industry structure. CR4 is the concentration ratio of the top four firms. How much of the market do the top four firms own? The Herfindahl level is the market square, uh, market share squared and then added. And so you can see other videos on how to actually determine what a Herfindahl level is. But we know that the Herfindahl goes from zero to 10,000. And then finally, we have the name that we're going to give the industry structure. These are all rules of thumb or estimates, so don't take too much stock in any one specific number that you see. Um, these are, this is a continuum, and so you can interpret things slightly differently than what I, than what I say here. Okay? What we know is that at the left end of the continuum, we have what we call perfect competition or high fragmentation. And at the absolute left uh, of the continuum, we have a CR4 level of zero and a Herfindahl level of zero. And you might ask, why can we have a CR4 level of zero? Imagine that we have a million firms in the industry and each of them are equal. The market share of any one firm is one over a million, which is basically zero. And so we're going to call that zero. Same thing with the Herfindahl level. High fragmentation industries include things like pizza restaurants. That's an example I usually go over. Or home builders. There are 35,000 home builders in the United States. And so there are only 12 that have 1% market share or greater. And so although the, the Herfindahl level of home builders won't be zero, it will be very close to zero. It might be about 200. We keep going to the right on the number line and we start to get to concentrate it relatively soon on the number line, which is another thing that I've tried to bring up in class, which is don't think that this is an equal uh, number line between zero and 10,000. We'll notice that between 5,000 and 10,000, almost nothing happens. At 10,000 all the way to the right, we have a monopoly, which is the most concentrated an industry could be with one firm owning the entire industry. And halfway at 5,000, we have a duopoly, which is the next most concentrated industry. So between 5,000 and 10,000, we only have two different types of market structures. And so what we know is that most action is going to happen to the left of the 5,000 and even further to the left. Now, 1,800 is an important number because it's where the Department of Justice uh, signifies a moderately concentrated industry, and it's where they'll start to regulate things like collusion and things like merger activity. So 1,800 is a very key number to remember, and we'll just call that concentrated or moderately concentrated. It's where oligopolies tend to begin. We have a general CR4 level of about 60 and a Herfindahl of about 1,800 at that concentrated level. As we move further to the right, we start to get into a deeper oligopoly. And again, the deeper oligopoly will be where fewer firms own more market share. So for example, cellular phone uh, service providers. We have four in the country that control almost the entire market. We have AT&T, T-Mobile, Sprint, and Verizon. The four firms own about 90% market share. And so we would say the CR4 level would be about 90 the, uh, this is, of course, a four-firm oligopoly, and the Herfindahl index will be around 3,000 in that industry. So again, you see my rules of thumb. I put 80 and 3,000, but in some it might be 70, and some it might be 90. Okay? An oligopoly, again, is very, very concentrated market share. We, we go from oligopoly to duopoly, and we see it goes from about 3,000 to 5,000. Clearly, a duopoly uh, with 5,000 Herfindahl would be a split market duopoly where two firms each own 50% of the market, 50 squared is 2,500. 50 squared is 2,500. That's why we get a Herfindahl of 5,000. And the CR4 level will actually be just a CR2 level, although we'll still call it a CR4, and it'll be at 100 because both companies own the entire market combined. We can have a duopoly above 5,000. If we had a duopoly of, say, 70% and 30%, we would get 70 squared is 4,900, 30 squared is 900, and so that duopoly would be about 5,800. Know that a duopoly cannot be, mathematically, cannot be less than 5,000, and it can be higher than 5,000. And, of course, as we start to get towards a monopoly of 10,000, we start to get different types of industry structures. And you can have things between 5,000 and 10,000, but they're, uh, they're not really all that interesting for a class about competition because, in that case, there really isn't any competition. So just know that most of the things that we're going to study are going to happen between zero and 3,000, and in fact, really towards the left of 3,000.